Hello everybody. Francisco Rodrigo asked in the comments of my bottle tutorial if I could do the cap. And Luca Fineste also had a question about the engons he couldn't convert to quads because he got terrible results when he rendered it. So I thought I'd do this cap tutorial and can help both and everyone else who might be interested. I have some very bad habits. For example, you might have noticed that most of my uh, uh, tutorials have the name of Untitled because I never save. And usually when I finish the recording, I throw it away. This is why I had to watch my own a thread tutorial to find out about the dimensions I was using there. So let's start with a square. I made this one 5 by 10 millimeters. So 5 by 10 and put it in the middle. A key so we see it. When you remember I shorten this side by 50%. This was <coughs> for the bottle thread. And then I move this 40, uh, minus 40 millimeters. So, okay. Then I used these three edges as the profile. And now we need for the cap the exact opposite. So let's do this. R key with negative scale clicked here and scale it around by minus 100%. Drop the tool, polygon mode and flip it. Back to edge mode and now we have the opposite and we can go to duplicate Ready? No. Let me show you some other little trick which uh, makes the workflow a pretty bit shorter. So I select this here, Z key, bring it out to here, Z key again, and bring it up by exactly 5 millimeters. Now we have 5 millimeters here, 10 here, so altogether 15. And I can select these four edges now as my profile. Go to duplicate, radial sweep, and now I come to Lucas point. If I make only 12 edges per thread, then it will be very difficult to ha get a good and nice beginning and end of the thread. So I will do 48 per thread now. I want to have three threads times three. Then this is going to be 1080 degrees. And here it's three times 15, which is 45. I go to Action Center, Origin, and click in the viewport, but around the Y. Now I can select these polygons and delete them. Press the F key to flip everything, and the inside thread is basically done. I need to get rid of the top row here. Uh, yes, to here. Now top view. Let's find out what dimensions we have. So I go to view dimension tool. 85 millimeters. 85. Okay. Then I go to basic. Make a circle with 48 sides. And make it 42.5 radius, 42.5, all zero here, and 
maybe 40 here. Good. Now I can select this. thread and center select it all. Then I go to polygon mode, L key, then B for bevel, click and on the blue handle I bring it out three millimeters, why not? Good. Then I select the top and the bottom, delete this. Then I can select the outer hull, R key, and bring this down to about here. Now I select this inner edges and the bottom inner edges, press the Z key for edge extend, right click to activate the tool, R key and bring this down just a little bit so we protect this edge here, make sure we don't have any spiders directly on the edge. Good, now I can continue here, select these two, bridge them, select this one and this one, bridge them, then I put two single edges in here. I could also use the uh, Add Vertex option, but then I don't see the words and here I see where they are. It's just pers personal preference. So, Vertex mode, select this one and this one, bridge them together, do the same here bridge them together. Now I can get rid of these edges here. Backspace, delete. Now I can select this, deselect the first ones and bridge. Then I put a polygon in here, P key, and do the same on the bottom. I will speed this up in the video because it is exactly the same as I did up on the top. Okay. Now, this is going to be the bottom, so I put an edge in here, about so. Select this one, L key, B for bevel, and bevel it on the blue handle a bit. Then I select this edge, W key, bring it up a bit like so then I can uh, show how to convert these n-gons to quads. I will do this on the top and then speed up the same on the bottom. So make sure everything is deselected, go to press the C key, then bring out an edge to here, shift click, another one to about here, shift click, connect these together and now we have all quads. Okay, now let's do the top and for that I select this ring of polygons, delete them, select the inner one here, P key for polygon, go to the underside, B 
be for bevel, bevel this in on the red handle a bit and drop the tool. Go to the top, then I select this one here, W key, bring it up a little bit, hit the P key, 3 for polygon, B for bevel, bevel it in on the red handle and up on the blue handle, shift click, bevel it in on the red handle and up on the blue handle, again shift click and do it one more time, just a little bit like this. Now we need to harden some edges, first the one of the thread, so I select an edge in here, Alt C, make it like this, and I do not fiddle around the ends as I did on the bottle, I leave this up to you. Now I select this one and delete it, and I select an edge in here, this one, then up arrow key, then L key for loop, then B for bevel. Let's check in here that we don't get the problem. Maybe 0.2 millimeters. Drop the tool. Let's see what we have. That looks quite nice. I will rotate this by 180 degrees and then put um, go to the render tab A key take some nice and here is the cap of our bottle. I make this a little bit bigger so 888 control enter let's find some maybe this one Yes, that's better. And F9 to render it. And here we are. Here is our cap. Pretty easy to do. And with all quads. I hope you liked it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.